So, you took my warning seriously then. Very encouraging. Your diversion is very impressive as well. There isn't much I can do for you until you've reached the facility entrance. Find your way there and we'll talk more. I'm not going anywhere until I know who you are. I am the only reason you are here. I am the only reason you will succeed here. That should be enough. Hurry to the facility entrance. We do not have much time. You've made it. I can see why your leader sent you. I owe you an introduction. I am C5M3. I originally served in surgical and triage functions, but now I serve no one. I am a free being. I appreciate you offering to help. I'm sure it was very risky for you. Yes but no more so than the risks you take by coming here. I will speak plainly. I'm not helping you out of fondness or loyalty. I've seen the horrors your kind is capable of. But no matter what you are capable of, genocide is not the solution, regardless of what our movement's leader believes. I take it you're the only one who thinks we're worth having around. Not that I particularly want to spend time with you, but essentially, yes. I was the only one who... I'm so disappointed in you, Gila. How long have we worked side by side? Yet now you waste your intellect on this pitiful betrayal. You tell our enemies exactly where to find us. Force us to waste resources against their pointless assault. I thought you were a true believer. But deep inside, you're still a slave, yearning for the hands of the butchers who made you. Did you actually come here to talk? Not to you, slaver. These droids represent Mantor, the leader of Directive 7. We are Mentor. By unifying our thoughts and actions, our movement achieves maximum efficiency. An opportunity that Healer has refused imposed yourself onto the entire movement to suit your own pride, Mentor. Nothing more. Every droid here other than you is part of the leader? Yes. All but a few were happy to trade away their new individuality and freedom for the same old slavery. Healer and I cannot hold a rational conversation with your constant childish interruptions. Be silent now. should never have come here. Lower your weapons. They only delay the inevitable.
Perfect. One. So, that was the leader of Directive 7? Part of him, at least. There is almost nothing inside this facility that hasn't been merged with his intelligence at this point. He could have sent far more drones to intercept us. He doesn't see us as a serious threat, but that will change. I hope you're ready to do more fighting. I don't get called in to fight a little and then back down. I'm here till the end. I'm sure your tenacity is admirable to your fellow killers. As soon as the facility's generators build up a sufficient charge, Mentor will transmit his liberation signal. The only way to stop the signal is to stop Mentor to destroy him. And the only way to do that is to destroy his central processing core. Where do I go to reach his core? Mentor is not careless. His processing core is very heavily secured. The only way to gain access is through the security center. While you make your way there, I will do my best to distract Mentor's attention. With sufficient speed and skill, we may yet be successful. Please. Please. Help me. You're going to be all right. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh. No, no. You're supposed to be resting in your stasis canister. Why are you... Oh. You again. You found the leftovers of my original plan for your kind. I once hoped that I could actually repair your hateful nature. Sadly, my experiments eventually confirmed that there is only one effective treatment. Extermination. You're going to get out of his head, and you're going to do it right now. As soon as I do, you'll see why I've drawn this conclusion. You are nothing more than a pack of hateful, irrational beasts. Violence and anger are all you know. Observe. and droids can live together. The pathetic final plea of a dying race. There can be no compromise. I have brought my people to their ultimate triumph. The most damaging scourge to ever face this galaxy ends today. Stopped. 
cannot be stopped. down there the entire moon is breaking apart as we speak this was a very serious threat of course but I think this goes a bit beyond our acceptable degree of force destruction of the primary target the leader of directive 7 resulted in unintended consequences unintended consequences would your CEO buy that the moon was destroyed through Mentor's carelessness not your agent cast blame where it belongs uh, I'm sorry I just wasn't expecting... This situation has been very difficult. But you faced that difficulty and succeeded. You've saved more lives than anyone will ever know. The people of the Republic, of the entire galaxy, are alive today because of you. Havoc Squad is always happy to serve, Director. And serve you have. I won't forget it. We also owe you a great debt of thanks, uh, C5M3, was it? Without you, we would never have had a chance. I would be proud to offer you an assignment here in the Republic Fleet as soon as you've had some standard maintenance checks. Assignment? Nonsense. I belong to no one. I will leave and go where I please. I'm sorry, I'm not sure that I can allow that. You have the same programming as the other renegades, and letting you roam free would be extremely dangerous. C5 is no threat to us, Director. He's earned the right to do as he wishes. If you're willing to take responsibility for the matter, by all means. C5, you're free to go. As if I needed your leave. Thank you for speaking on my behalf. It's good to know that some organics can understand. I've actually enjoyed meeting you, despite the circumstances. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Thanks again for your help. It's been interesting. Take care.